Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcomes you to this short presentation. Now let's go to the proper views. First is the PNS by Waters method. There are different lectures covering different sets of the uh, projections and in total there are different uh, views which are described in different type, in different lectures and there are different illustrations for them. Now how patient is in this position? Patient is prone or in standing position. Then the central ray should pass through the maxillary sinus because that is main area of interest is the maxillary sinus. Then there should not be angulation. However, patient is asked to lift his nose by 1 to 2 cm from the table with the chin resting on it. The mouth should be open. Why mouth should be open? That is to see the sphenoid sinus. So when we are assessing the sinuses, if we want to assess sphenoid sinus, patient's mouth has to be open. The distance should be 100 cm, then film size should be 10 by 12 inches and bucky is required since it is a thick structure. Same as that of the skull, we have to take the projections and we have to give the technical factor that is KVMA. So also we have to use bucky film and the size of the film. Now let us come to details of PNS by Waters view. Here we are shown how it should be. Now these are the angulation which describes the tube angulation and now let's see how the x-rays are taken. Instruction to the patient are important. Patient nose is lifted around 2 inches from the cassette. Patient's mouth is open. Then there should not be any angulation to the tube. So we are adjusting the angulation. There, is, there should not be any angulation. If it is there, it should be removed. Patient should be collimated properly. Now everything looks fine. The distance should be 100 cm. Now see, patient asked to lift the nose since it was touching the cassette. It should not touch the cassette. So these are the technical points which you should know that patient prone, nose elevated, mouth open, distance 100 cm and there should not be any rotation. Rotation should not be seen from the side, it has to be seen from the that is long end of the table where just now you have seen how it was seen. From side you cannot get the proper idea about whether head is tilted or not and then you can go for the exposure. You have to collimate it in such a way that remaining parts are not exposed. Now here we are seeing, we are seeing a maxillary sinus, it is showing fluid level. So this x-ray has to be either in sitting or standing position. Then we can see nasal septum, ethmoid sinuses, frontal sinus, maxillary sinus and fluid in maxillary sinus. And we are also seeing a spinoid sinus in open mouth. And this is a, uh, clear. If you are suspecting any pathology, particularly inflammatory, you will have to go for erect. Otherwise, you can go for a prone patient also. But as far as possible, most of the patients coming for this view are usually of the sinus pathology and therefore, we have to go for a standing water's view. Thank you for watching this video. In case if you need more information, do visit our website. There are more articles, more illustrations and more informations. The addresses are given, they are just one click away from you.